Now I'll show you how to create a profile page for an external content type, which displays the data for an item of that type. Starting from the BDC service admin, we'll create a profile page for customer. You need to configure where the profile pages will be hosted. As you can see, I'm hosting mine at this location. To create the profile page, I'll select the Customer External Content Type and then press the Create Upgrade Profile Page button. We're informed, among other things, that a new action will be created to view the profile page. I'll explain more about actions in a moment. The profile page is created, and when the page refreshes, the action appears. I can access the profile page template by opening up the URL. To view an actual profile page for a specific customer, I'll enter their customer ID as a parameter. And now, we're viewing the profile page for Eugene Huang. We can also see the information from our association get surveys for this customer. You'll also notice the words Bing Maps within the Item Details section. We'll now discuss a bit more about these types of actions. If I open up my external content type in the BDC service admin, I can view details on that particular external content type, such as the different fields it can show, different associations, as well as the actions. You'll notice the action to view a profile page is present, as well as one other pre-existing action, Bing Map. If I open my profile page for editing, I can see how it is made up of BCS web parts. The first is a hidden part, known as the Item Builder web part, which sends the item identifier from the URL to the other web parts. Also present on the page are the item and related list parts, which we've seen already. Let's customize our profile page by adding a new web part. From the business data category, we can see the list of parts, three of which have been mentioned already. Let's try a new web part, Actions. When the part is added, we're instructed to choose an external content type. First, we'll open the Tools pane and select the type from the External Content Type Picker. For our Customer Profile page, we'll choose Customer. For some web parts, you may want to select one instance of that type. For example, you could select Customer Eugene Wang. However, we'll skip this step. What we want to do is display actions for whatever customer's profile page we're currently viewing. Notice the web part still instructing us to provide it with an item. To provide this item, we'll connect the web part to the customer item web part already on the page. Now the actions web part shows the actions for that type. If I click the Bing Map action, I'll be able to view this customer's address in Bing Maps. This is called a URL-based external content type action. You can use BCS web parts outside of the profile pages as well. As a final demonstration, we'll create a new web part page called Survey Results. I'd like to show the survey results for different customers utilizing the association we created earlier. First, I'll add the business data list web part. Next, I'll add the related list web part. For the list web part, I'll choose the customer external content type. Instantly, you can see the full list of customers from my AdventureWorks database. For the related list web part, I'll choose the Survey Responses external content type.
This part examines the association and prompts us to connect it to a web part that will provide it with a customer. Similar to what we did before, I'll open the part for editing, and then I'll connect it to the customer list web part, the first part we added. Finally, I'll save the page. Whereas previously, we used the item web part to show one item, now by using the list web part, we need to click on different items in the list to then view its associated data. I'll select customer 11017 Shannon Wang. And now, my related item web part shows the survey results for customer 11017. Choosing any other customer on this page will show their data as well. So in this video, we've shown you how to create an association between two different external content types using SharePoint Designer. The next video in the series is going to explain how to use your external data in Microsoft Word 2010. Thanks for watching.